Mommy? What, sweetie? I'm cooking. My time. It says 10 seconds. <gasps> Hang on. I'm going to transfer you time right now. Here. Wow. Now I have three hours. Yes, this is why you need to stay close to me. I can't transfer you time unless I'm close by. Mommy, what happens if my time runs out? Well, sweetie, you... you die. Please, you gotta help me. I only have three... Oh. He's the third one to run out of time today. I know. It's awful. Wait, you only have 30 minutes left. Don't worry about it. It's payday today, and I'm about to head over to my boss right now. He's one minute away. Okay, be careful. Hey, boss. Um... You're here to collect your time, I know, but I'm short today. I'll, uh, I'll pay you first thing tomorrow, though. Sound good? No, 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 you don't understand. I only have 20 minutes left. Go we'll ask your mom to transfer you time. But I don't have a car, and I live at least 20 minutes from here. Sorry, kid. I suggest you start running. <gasps> Come on, please pick up. Hello? Mom, it's me. Listen, I'm in so much trouble. My boss, he couldn't pay me today, and I'm almost out of time. What? Where are I have to be next to you to transfer time. I... Mom? Come pick you up. We're Mom, I, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I'm coming as fast as I can. Mom? No, I must be in a dead zone. Excuse me, do you have any time to spare? I'm almost out. <laughs> yeah, kid, join the club. Please. Sorry, I've got nothing to share. I can give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds, but I... It's all I can share, honey. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Hey, kid, what's the matter? My time is almost up and no one wants to transfer me any. So I understand if you don't either. Well, I... Hey, don't cry. You can have all my time. I've lived for long enough. Here. Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry. I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. Hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm, I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working. Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. 
You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose. Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, Your Majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Uh, Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Will you see, dear? After you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh. It's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need... I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes. <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are gonna get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite alright, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. 
Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little... I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time. Hmm. Guys. Hey, man. Wait. Are you crying? What? No, I'm not. Come on, Brianna. We're your best friend. You can tell us anything. Can you guys just come over to my house? So what's wrong? It's Derek. He... He broke up with me over text today. Wait, Derek? As in the school player, Derek? School player? What do you mean? He plays every girl in school. He'll act like he likes you, he'll use you, and then he'll break your heart. Seriously? Why would he do that? No one knows, but what I know is that it's time someone taught him a lesson. Did we could do it? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, Nicole, I don't know. It might not work. Trust me, ladies. It will work. And I have the perfect plan. Step one is to give you a makeover so that you look absolutely irresistible. Step two, get his attention. Step three, get him to go out with you. Bree? You, uh, <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bree, I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um, how about how about I take you on a date or, or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine, but you are paying for the date. Okay, girls, take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anyway. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, did you ever, did you ever cheat? Um. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? I cheated more. I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <laughs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time, asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, so have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating, cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or no answer, come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> Oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home, oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. <laughs> Bree, come here. Why is everyone staring at us? Mm, no one's staring at me, Derek. They're staring at you. What are you talking about? Oh, how cute. He still doesn't know. Don't know what? Exactly. Got your little confession on the video. Derek, remember how you used to tease me for being a klutz? Well, clumsy old me. I was recording you. I didn't realize. And then I accidentally leaked the video to the entire school. You what? Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before playing every girl in school. I'm a go-getter. If I see what I like, I'm gonna go after it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek, but I had to. I don't want any girl to go through what I went through. Because no one deserves to get their emotions played with. Have a nice day. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some celebrating to do. <laughs>